Well, good morning, Waterview. Just want to say a big thank you to you for your support as a church, helping Melinda and I in our work in the South Pacific here in New Zealand. Uh, I want to say it's been a great year despite of the present COVID situation worldwide and the predicaments that that brings and the travel restrictions. Uh, but thank you for your consistency there and sticking with us and encouraging us through this period with your prayers. Uh, this has actually been a kind of an exciting year in many ways for the gospel because uh, I've had an opportunity to, for instance, with a young man by the name of Corbin, met him at the gym, had an opportunity to teach him, bring him to Christ only recently, and he's excited about his new faith. Uh, also met Derek and uh, his stepdaughter, Maria, and uh, Derek was walking down the road over a period of time. I've continually had conversations with him and baptized Derek and also Maria into Christ. And there's been several others in that situation this year as well. But I want to say a big thank you for that and for your love and consistency in, in, in staying with us through this period. Paul would say this in the book of Corinthians that I finish off with. Therefore, my beloved brethren, 1 Corinthians 15, 58, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. And I just love the words that he uses here, be steadfast, immovable. It's used of an anchor that's been set by a captain as he's pulled into a harbour, pulls back on it so that it's set well. And I just pray that we set our anchors well in the Lord, knowing that no matter what seasons we go through and turbulence we are in, that we can know that the Lord is with us and he will continue to work with us and that our work will not be in vain in the Lord. So may God bless you and bless all of us as we continue to work for the Lord.